2017 is marked in the history of Berlin District and the entire West Kazakhstan region by the successful completion of the second phase of the resettlement program for the villages of Berezovka and Bestau. The decision on resettlement was made by the government of Kazakhstan due to the future expansion of the sanitary protection zone around the Karachagnak oil and gas condensate field. All costs for the new housing were funded by Karachagnak Petroleum Operating BV. Large-scale planning and preparatory works preceded construction of new housing for the village's residents. Karajaganak Petroleum Operating is committed to the principle of social responsibility. The resettlement project is one of the larger commitments in this area. In accordance with the government degree, the resettlement process was headed and supervised by the authorities of the region from the very beginning to the end. All costs were covered by KPO in accordance with the existing production sharing agreement. KPO always strives to achieve the highest quality in all areas of its work. That's why the goal for this project was set to implement the resettlement in full compliance with the legislation of the Republic of Kazakhstan and the international standard of resettlement. A specially established commission was assigned to oversee this complex program, including representatives of Berlin District Akimat, KPO and public organisations. First and foremost, it took into account opinions and interests of the village residents. Meetings were held, surveys and questionnaires organised, roundtables and open days were conducted to maintain a continuous dialogue with the residents of the villages. Some families chose to receive comfortable apartments in Aksai. Others decided not to change the rural way of life and chose private houses with land plots for private farm households. In both cases, the housing conditions that were provided to the residents of the villages were not only equivalent but even more comfortable than their former houses. In its work, the Commission adhered to the following main principles. The allocated area of the new housing should be no less than the area of the house that the family occupied before, and in some cases a larger area is calculated on the basis that there should be not less than 15 square metres per registered person. In addition, an independent licensed evaluation company has determined the amount of compensation for outbuildings and land plots that are left behind. Also, each family was paid a lump sum allowance to cover the moving costs and initial settling in arrangements. Resettlement was divided into two phases. At the first stage, socially vulnerable families moved into two apartment buildings in Aksai. These residents included veterans of war and invalids of the first and second groups, and families with disabled children. All apartments have now been handed over in a finished condition, with flooring and each is equipped with a new gas stove as well as kitchen furniture. The provided housing has a three-year warranty from the construction company, which ensures a commitment to provide repair works at their own expense in the event that any defects are found during this period. Those who moved to Aksai during the first phase have already appreciated the positive changes. Vital health facilities, schools, shops and recreation centres are located in a close vicinity to the houses. We are a family of eight people. We received two two-bedroom apartments. Each of them is 61 square metres, a total of 120 square metres. We are very satisfied. The children are also happy. We all like the apartments very much. I live with my wife. We are both pensioners. Everything we need is available here. We are very comfortable here. My wife is an av invalid of Group 2 and of course it is better for us to live in the city now. During the second phase of resettlement, two nine-storey apartment buildings were built in Aksai. 53 room houses with an area of 95 square metres each and 54 room houses with an area of 105 square metres each were built in Naraltal Micro District. Each house is located on a plot of 10 sockers with an enclosed garden and outbuilding. They are as comfortable as city apartments. Actually, it is a city micro district and all utilities are connected to it and the road is built. This new location, which is known as the Araltal micro district, was chosen very carefully. Being just five kilometres away, Aksai remains very accessible and is very convenient for those who already work in the town. From the very beginning of the project, we have been constantly maintaining contact with the residents of Berezovka and Bestau. All of the comments and suggestions that we received were reviewed carefully, and many consultation meetings were held to help explain the developed entitlements. 
All of the aspects of employment were also discussed. Um, teachers and doctors were provided with jobs in their new locations and farmers who wanted to continue their farming business were offered land plots in a new location. Also entrepreneurs could receive financial compensation to help with any loss of business during the process of moving. To ensure that all of the provisions of the resettlement program were clear, KPO produced several information leaflets which provided detailed explanations on a range of issues relating to the resettlement. And in addition, we met with all of the residents to discuss their unique personal situations and any questions that they had. As always, KPO involves only Kazakhstan construction companies in the implementation of social projects. KPO as the customer carefully monitored the quality of works as well as the schedule for their execution. During construction of new housing, we strive to provide for high quality of works, observance of the work schedule, as well as safety standards and requirements. These parameters were constantly monitored. The team understands that we are entrusted with a serious scope of work. I hope we justified the confidence placed in us. Partnership with Karachaganat Petroleum Operating BV is an honor for our company and a great responsibility at the same time. Highly skilled professionals are needed to comply with such high requirements of the client and try to meet all expectations. The partnership with KPO allowed us to not only elevate the level of operations, but build a high qualified and very competitive team of specialists. We are glad that we have successfully delivered the calls we were entrusted with. Timely completed construction of this socially significant project. The construction works were carried out under close supervision of the future new settlers themselves, whose representatives were part of a residence committee that visited the construction sites regularly at all stages, starting from the laying of the foundations through to the commissioning of the new housing. Representatives of the residence committee also collected all comments of fellow village residents and brought them to the attention of the housing commission for further review. We are pleased with the progress of construction. We are glad that they listen to us and accept our advice. As for micro-district, Araltal, as it is called now, it is very good for Borozovka residents in terms of the fact that even if someone is unemployed, it will not take long to get to Aksai to seek work. Transparency of the resettlement process was monitored by state and public control, both during the preparatory period and during construction, and of course when the village residents moved into their new homes. The deputies of the Majlis of the Parliament of the country visited the sites under construction. Significantly, the works were conducted under the constant control of the Akimat of the West Kazakhstan region. The construction site was repeatedly visited by Altai Kolkinov, the head of the region, who personally ascertained the quality and observance of the work schedule. Berezovka and Bestau resettlement project has been closely watched by the President and the top target for us was to resettle the residents of the above villages in due time. All the stages of the resettlement project were as transparent as possible. Primary consideration was, of course, given to the needs of the residents from these two villages. All the residents were provided with equivalent or even better conditions. This is the outcome of effective cooperation between local authorities and KPO. Regular meetings of the Joint Housing Commission were held, where the results of the work were discussed. In addition, international experts were involved in the planning and implementation of the project as well. ERM Cities Management ERM, is a leading global provider of environmental and social consulting services with broad experience in resettlement planning around the world, including Kazakhstan. Past resettlement projects have included that of Tongush village in West Kazakhstan Oblast and Sarikamis in Atarau Oblast. ERM was invited by KPO to provide support in resettling residents of Borozovka and Besto villages with due consideration of international standards. Extensive work has been done by our international team in order to collect social economic data we have visited every household in Borozovka and Besto villages and interviewed respective members. We have produced a resettlement action plan and took part in holding a series of open days where we explained and showed possible resettlement options and answered their questions to allow them to make an informed choice. A special service was established in the Akimat of Berlin district. There is a contact telephone number available 
where any resident from Berezovka or Bestal can communicate with any questions or grievances. Moving home is an event of vital importance for every family. Therefore, we were very attentive to the circumstances of each village resident. Initially, there were many requests and questions. These were reviewed and resolved in a timely manner. There are no trifles in such an important project. And of course, employment is a very important issue, and we provide every assistance with it. The opinion of the residents themselves was of paramount importance for us. Therefore, a survey was conducted among the, them to identify which option they prefer. Some chose comfortable apartments in the administrative center of the district. Others preferred private houses with land plots. In total, over 1,800 people moved from Berezovka and Bestel under the resettlement project. All residents received apartments in new multi-storey apartment buildings or private households in Araltel microdistrict in Aksai. A 70-year-old, Jumakez, has been living in Berezovka for 20 years. Two of her sons grew up and settled there, and her granddaughters started their families there too. Of course, it is a pity to leave. We have been living in Berezovka for so many years. Every summer we would repair the house, plant the garden, go out, chat with neighbours. But all Berezovka residents will be living together in one apartment building. We will continue communicating with each other. That's good news. It is good that the apartment is comfortable. All amenities are available. During the design and construction phases, consideration was given for comfortable living. A central water supply and gas supply are connected to all housing in Aksai and Araltel. There are roads, pavements, playgrounds for children, and parking areas were built. The wishes of those who did not want to convert to apartment style of living were also taken into account, as individual houses were provided as an option. Considering very importance and the very tight schedule of this project, I would like to mention that all stage of construction has been performed on compliance, Republic of Kazakhstan requirements and the standards. Also, I would like to give some number of projects. More than 50 square meters of area has been given for living and uh, social objects purpose. Uh, on Araltal, near 8 kilometers of roads has been laid by asphalt. Near 100 kilometers of pipeline has been laid for gas and the water supply system. This project was very important and a really serious project for all parties. The Gamer family is used to living closer to the land and therefore chose a house in microdistrict Araltel. They had a big fruit and vegetable garden in Berezovka. The couple will have an opportunity to garden in their new place too, especially since all the conditions for gardening are available there. A yard of 10 sotkas and technical water supply for irrigation. The house that we received in Araltel is large and has three rooms. The rooms are bright, bigger than the rooms in our house in Borozovka. Of course, the house is much better. There is an indoor bathroom and a toilet. We are landscaping the territory now. We have already planted some trees. We think that we will settle in this new place, put down new roots. Of course, we will never forget our village because it was a part of our lives. Such increase in population has required an expansion of the infrastructure and construction of additional social sites. Thus, a 320-seat kindergarten was built in microdistrict Karachagnak 1. Modern interactive and linguistic equipment, sports equipment, and everything necessary for the rounded development of the children was purchased for this preschool establishment. A new school for 300 seats was constructed in the Araltel microdistrict. School-aged children from Berezovka and Bestel villages, who have now become city residents, will study in this new school, which meets the requirements of the modern educational process. I have worked as a teacher of Kazakh language and literature for 27 years in Borozovka village. Of course, it was a pity to leave it, but I think we will have a new life in a new place. The school in microdistrict, Araltel, is large and comfortable, and all the teachers who moved here will be employed. Our Borozovka children will also come to study in this school. I received a four-room house in microdistrict, Araltel. It is very spacious and beautiful. There is a land plot where a vegetable garden can be arranged and fruit trees planted. Additional outbuildings can be built. The school is close to my house. This is also very convenient. 
It is well known that good things are easy to get used to. The new residents are successfully settling into their new places and are making new plans. There are big plans ahead aimed at socially responsible partnership, sustainable development and further improving the quality of life of West Kazakhstan residents.